Looks like it's time to start the Wendigo wave. Welcome back to the Nerd Room. James Sharma here once again with one of my fantastic, spectacular, one might say mediocre, Marvel Legends reviews. So, as I said, we are starting a brand new wave. We are doing the Wendigo wave. We are starting off with another damn Wolverine figure. That's right, because, you know, there's a whole bunch of figures they could use, characters, and we're going to go with Wolverine, because of course we are. But wait, this is an X-Force Wolverine, so he might be different than the other Wolverines. Hold on to your horses, we'll take a look and see. It might be a paint job that's different, might not be, who knows. But we'll get on it, we'll see how it goes. If you like this review, you like Wolverine, hit that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, write a comment below, whatever, we'll see how it goes. And uh, let's take this sucker out of the box and see if, you know, it's worth getting another Wolverine for the collection. But if you get a Wendigo figure, you're going to get it anyway. So let's just take a look at the figure regardless. Alright, so let's take a look at the X-Force Wolverine. He's in a black and gray costume, of course. Much like the Deadpool figure we've already just looked at from way back. Um... On the bottom, you can see the difference already. It says Uncanny X-Force, so, you know, it's an amalgamation of both teams, I guess, X-Men and X-Force. Window display, you can see it's just Wolverine, no extra hands, no extra heads. Just the Wendigo head part. Going around the box, of course. Nice little uh, effect they did. They kind of made, like, a starburst on the bottom, basically, to, you know, go with the art, I guess. Angry look from Wolverine. On the back, you know, same art. What does the text say for the text? Text, text, text says Wolverine joins a militant group of super beings known as the X Force using his powerful adamantine claws to slash throughout down opposition. So he's going to kill people. That's what X Force does. They're like, you know, Xavier's, you know, darker team. Anyways, a whole lot of uh, text in different languages there. Uh, figures. No MCU figures in this wave, all comic book characters. They're part of the Wendigo wave, so we're going to get to Wendigo down the line. More Wolverine are on that side, back to the front. They changed this top part a little bit, just as four and up. You know, if you're four years old, you're going to play with the standard figures. You're not going to play with this. Because you could probably, you know, choke on a uh, Wolverine claw or something, or the head or whatever. And the you know, top is uh, the X from the X-Men, uh, X-Force, whatever. It's an X figure, so there you go. I'm going to take a sucker out of the box right now, and we're going to have a little looky loo around. Okay, so let's take a look at Wolverine, the figure, and the uh, Wendigo head. Well, Wendigo head has a big giant ball joint on the bottom, and I'm, his head looks awfully creepy, you know. It is what it is, but we'll, we'll talk about him down the line when we do the figure review or the build. So, talking Wolverine, he's in his X Force outfit. Black and gray, predominantly black. Um, looks like they might have used a torso from the prior, the Wolverine from you know the 80s design. Uh, boots uh, looks like torso might be uh, brand new. Boots might be new. Um, I noticed when I was doing the figure, the claws are more fixated on here, so you can't really. That's a plus, so they can't really get lost. So that's awesome. Um, same. Uh, design on the back it looks like with the with the black and the gray um, I like the uh, red accent in the eye we'll probably just take a look at the other uh, mask and see if it's the same or whatever but anyways let's talk articulation talk details later on so um oh he does does have that hair on the arm that's pretty cool so said goes back that far we'll swore that far it's all the way around and a little bit of a tilt so arm goes up <coughs> that far, has that butterfly uh, indent, butterfly thing going on there, and it goes all the way around. There, it's a little tight, so be careful when you're doing posing. Don't snap off the arm. Bicep rotation, double joint at the elbow, no uh, forearm rotation, but he has wrist and forward and back on it, obviously. His back goes back that far, goes forward that far, and a crunch. Waist rotation, no diaphragm. Uh, legs go apart that far. They go forward and back that far. Uh, thigh rotation, double joint of the knee. 
no calf rotation, but he has forward and back and angle pivoting. So let's say we uh, do the usual spiel and uh, pose this son of a bitch, right? Should be a lot of fun. See how it goes. Okay, so let's take a look at the X-Men Wolverine compared to the Retro Wolverine and the Tiger Shape one. So, there's a whole bunch of differences because this is not, this is not a reused figure. Um, there's actually uh, indents in the separation between the black and the gray on the outfit. So, clearly it, it's probably a new mold or an altered one. Uh, the mask is a little different from uh, the other two. Um, this design wise, as he's falling down, is of course he is. Just take a look at the indents on the back there, right there, going there. The eyes are bigger than that, than the other one. So, clearly, at least they've, if it's the same head, they've changed it a little bit. And, uh, whatever. And, like I said, the claws are, you know, more fixed so he doesn't have the, uh, Little uh, ornaments on a glove that, you know, the, glo the claws can go into. So that's pretty cool. So this is probably, best guess, an original Wolverine. So that's pretty cool. Or worst case, it's a somewhat altered one, at least with the mask anyways. And just to show high differential, I have, of course, the uh, Deadpool X-Force that came out earlier this year. And the Cable Fair that came out last year. So, of course, Wolverine, you know, is the shortest of the bunch. And why shouldn't he be? If he's comic accurate, he's only like 5'2". But, he looks pretty cool come alongside the other two. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. I gotta tell you, I do dig this Wolverine. I like the fact that he's a different mold. Hasbro could have done the easy thing, just slap out the uh, black and gray instead of the brown and tan on the retro figure and bam there's your Wolverine for X-Force but no they actually changed it up a little bit made it somewhat of a different figure you might be able to tell the, the similarities more than I do but I do dig that they made an effort to try to you know not you know do what they've done before and go different make it a new figure and I gotta tell you I dig it you know Wolverine's not a bad figure it's, it's more I guess color palette now and uh, you know I you know, can't really go wrong with a Wolverine. I will say, I I love the fact that the claws do not come out, more or less. Or, you know, you can't lose them. I dig that. I like that. I do wish she came with a couple of uh, hands that, you know, didn't have claws. But I'm sure I could find something in the, other part, in the spare parts collection if I really wanted to. But, fantastic figure. I dig it. It's a uh, fan... Did I say fantastic? Is it a top 10? I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. See what other figures I do with before the end of the year. But it does have a shot. You know, all figures have a shot. But still, pretty cool. So, do I recommend it? Sure. It's, uh, you know, if you're a Wolverine collector, you probably already have this. Because I'm in New Hampshire and it only just came around my area in the last little while. So, thanks a lot. Hasbro appreciate that but uh, if you're an x first guy of course you won't get this uh, but is it the best Wolverine mm. I it, the, the jury's out but you know if you're a purist you're gonna get for whatever Wolverine you want right so which which time period which era which team whatever it's up to you do what you want Anyways, that's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate comments. Appreciate your likes, your dislikes. Let me know you've watched at least. So thanks a lot. I always appreciate it. We are continuing on with the Wendigo Wave. Probably with that goddamn statue of a figure that they call Cannonball. Oh, I can't wait to do that. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Especially with the posing. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. But we'll see how it goes. 
So anyways, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next time. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. It's not just me who uh, does videos for this channel. It's another bloke as well, so he appreciates it. Anyways, uh, hoping to hit 200 subscribers before the end of the month or around the end of the month. I would love that a lot if we did. So uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. So for uh, my friend Jason, I'm James. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time in the Nerd Room.